Good morning. Good it's, morning. It's Zach. Yes, he's returned. Back. The return of the Zach. It is uh, <laughs> Monday, March 22nd. This is This Week at EPL. Uh, I'm Andrew. I'm Zach. I already said that. Happy but... spring break week. <laughs> Indeed. Spring Andy, break. yeah, nice shirt. I'm ready. Actually, we've got one more thing. Insta travel. There we go. It's real. It is indeed spring break week here, I think, in, in DeKalb County, I think. Yep. For most yep. people, at least. Um, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I don't have a horse in the race at the moment. Um, he's almost two. <laughs> so, uh, where are we going to start off again? We're going to start off with... Um, Personalized staff suggestions. Indeed. So, just a reminder, if you are looking for something to do on spring break week and you would like a recommendation from one of our professional librarians about a genre or an author or something along those lines. We have personalized staff suggestions from our librarians. They can point you in the right direction or even give you a specific item to look for. You just look for that section on our website and uh, we'll, we'll post the link to that in the description, but feel free to click one of those and get your own individualized custom suggestion from one of our librarians. Yep, that's pretty cool. Um, and they are looking to help you. Um, it, it's it's like a it's like a hunger that they need to say <laughs> that they need to fulfill. Yes. Um, a couple things here. We're going we're going to move on to some games. Um, so not all new games, uh, but some existing games as well that we want to make sure that people know about. Um, the first one here that I want to mention is Race to the Treasure. This is a cooperative game for kids, um, ages uh, five and up, for two to four players. The kind of cool thing is that it's not like a thing where they're competing against each other. They're working together to reach the treasure before the ogre. So uh, some of the things that you're working with is shared decision making, uh, strategy, uh, math grid concepts. Because uh, if you can see, actually, da da da, there, uh, Race to the Treasure there uh, way over there um it's pretty cool there's the ogre that's right there and you're trying to get to the treasure before they do so you have to work out uh together how to solve those problems cool yes. um we've also got the a number of books for dungeons and dragons and other role-playing games um not just dungeons and dragons but we do have those available upstairs they're in the closed community room? The closed community room, yeah. And where the computers are, and that's where all of our games and uh, items that you can check out as far as gaming and books and board games and stuff are, but you can check those out and start to learn about how to, all the ins and outs of playing D&D. &D. Yeah. Uh, and then actually I will mention that the Race of the Treasure is um, downstairs in the children's section because there are a specific sec section for children's games. And then that's not just um, board games and such, but that is also puzzles, so if you want to do a puzzle too. Uh, and then this big one here that we have in the center is Apples to Apples. If you've never played this one before, this is a good kind of family party game. Uh, again, not uh, assuming that too many people might be coming together at the moment still, you know. Uh, but you can still play it with your family, you know, four, uh, four to ten players is what it says. Um, apples to apples is kind of hard to describe. <laughs> so like you've got um, a bunch of red cards and then a couple of green cards and green cards have like a words like embarrassed on there or like um, like cringy or something like that. And then everybody has a handful of the red cards and they have to put down a card face down for the, the judge to pick that says like like t that um, that they think is cringy and then the person the, the person who put the card down that the judge selects, you really have to do it. This is not making yeah, sense. Yeah, no, it's it's making sense. It's hard to it's you hard have to, to find like relatable yeah. words, right? Or or something that maybe the person who's it yeah um, would think that would be a good match or a funny match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and and it, it works really well with like close friends and family that you have insights on. Right. Uh, and that one definitely is upstairs as well. Um, mm. and there's it's 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 G rated as well. <laughs> um, let's see here. Let's move on to. Oh, uh, it's March Madness. We started, uh, I believe, this weekend or on Thursday. Um, Andy, you want to tell them a little bit about something we've got related to March Madness? Yeah, so this was up uh, um, not quite a week ago at the time, um, but uh, from Barb Morrow's uh, book, uh, Hardwood Glory. Um, 
and that is again following uh, the life and the coaching career and schooling career of John Wooden, uh, who's known especially for UCLA, but also is a Indiana coaching native, um, which is really cool. Uh, it's a about maybe about 25, 30 minutes of video. It's on Facebook and it's on YouTube. Uh, so if you just search Bob Morrow, Hardwood Glory, you should be able to find it. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's her going through her presentation of uh, of her book, like what she would uh, if she went someplace to speak about it. Yep, and Barb's a, Barb's a resident of Auburn and has lived in Auburn for a long time. And so mm -hmm. it's neat to, to hear her talk kind of in depth about this, um, this process and her knowledge of John Wooden. Yep. Um, as far as COVID vaccines, we continue to do signups here at the library. Um, there's new eligibility this week. 40 and up are now eligible for the vaccine. Um, in addition to people with suppressed immune systems, but also teachers and staff um, in pre-K through high school, they can now register at any vaccination site. This includes child care centers, Head Start and Early Start programs, licensed, ch licensed child care providers, um, including center-based and family care, um, also classroom aides, bus drivers, janitors, counselors, administration staff, cafeteria workers, and substitute teachers. You need to bring proof of employment, but any any of those um, any of those qualifications are now eligible. So that's good news. It is. Uh, also, um, tax forms are still printed at no cost. Uh, make sure you know what you're looking for because we are not tax professionals. We can't uh, tell you what you need, uh, but we can print it out if you know what it is. Uh, also, to note, tax day has been extended for this year. To, was it May 17th? May 17th. But don't wait. Yeah. Don't do it at 11.59 <laughs> on May uh, May 17th. Yes. Like some or of 16th. us might. 16th, <laughs> May 16th, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, moving on to some programming. Uh, we've got story times. Um, we've got the two story times right now. Uh, with uh, all ages story time following Grimm's fairy tales that should go up on uh, Sundays at 10 a.m. Uh, I think we need to get Hansel and Gretel up there for this week and then Cinderella should be coming for next week. Ooh, nice. Yeah, um, and then Babies and Books is at 10 a.m. on uh, Wednesdays uh, and we're going to be reading Backyard Bugs. Uh, yeah, well, gross. <laughs> gross uh, and scary and weird. <laughs> <laughs> and again, babies and books is for like infants, young toddlers. Um, it's pretty cool. They don't always, they're not always, of course, going to pay attention um, for the story time. But it's it's a good prompt for the parents and the and the uh, caregivers uh, to help them kind of give them fun games and rhymes and things like that to do with the kids. I didn't uh, I didn't know Cinderella was a was a grim fairy tale. Yeah, apparently. That's... That's interesting. Uh, it, it's kind of fun if you go through and you look at Grimm's fairy tales and you see what all there are um, that you just don't even, you know, don't even know about. Um, Where they came from. Yeah. yeah. Cooking Across America. Um, cheeseburger casserole. You can make yourself a hot dish. I just like saying hot dish. Yeah, the, the, the phrase hot dish. Hot dish, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, and then uh, keep on the lookout for some delicious cake. With lots of eggs. Very good. And sugar. Yes. Um, okay. In the coming weeks, though? Um, we're going to continue to have uh, STEAM programs coming up. We're going to take a little break for Resource Week coming up that we're going to promote all the resources EPL has. But following that, we're going to continue to post STEAM videos about science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics, especially around the community and our own library system. Um, but in the coming weeks, starting April 1st, we're going to start our annual teen poetry contest. So that is going to be open to middle schoolers and high schoolers. Um, we have a contest every year, and there's prizes, gift cards for local restaurants uh, around the area. Um, we'll publicize more information about that. It's currently on our Facebook page, but we'll also be reaching out to the schools to talk about the teen poetry contest. We had some amazing entries last year really really cool stuff and uh anticipate um even more interesting and and creative poems this year with a truly a different year so we're uh we're looking to publicize that and that'll start april 1st yeah uh and on, otherwise um let's see we already mentioned the D D stuff uh that we had uh the books, but again, if you are interested in uh, D&D, &D, um, if you're 18, like if you're 18 or younger, 
or if you're older than 18, if you're 19 to uh, to 99, we're not taking those 100-year-olds. 100, 100 no. <laughs> yeah, no 100 year If you're 19 and up, um, uh, we've got an adult group as well, um, and those meet uh, online at the moment. Uh, just email us at gaming at epl.lib.in.us. Or get a hold of us on Facebook. We can direct you in the right place. Anything fun you've got going on? I'm excited for it to be warm. Yes. And to get out of the Pacific Ocean, apparently. <laughs> no, this is uh, something else. I don't remember what this is from. <laughs> uh, fair use, though. <laughs> right. Yeah, we hope everybody's being safe. And hopefully you can get outside a little bit in the sun. Now that it's going to be warm. What about you, Andy? Is anything fun? Oh, you know? oh my, my son has this awesome little trike, um, a three-wheeler from Radio Flyer. And we pushed him around in it yesterday, and he uh, absolutely loved it. He had his sunglasses on and everything. <laughs> Looking real, uh, what's it? Um, yes. Easy, easy rider. <laughs> right. I was going to say born to be wild, but that's, that's good, <laughs> that too. Yes. All right. That's good. All I right. think that's about all for this week. Yep. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. We need to make a new video for this, too. We can't forget. Bye-bye.